You like Arnold? You'll love Meg Whitman. She supports taxpayer funding for abortion. Do you? Whitman campaigned and contributed to Barbara Boxer. Did you? Whitman campaigned for the disastrous bailout that saved Goldman Sachs. Did you? Whitman supports the Obama amnesty plan for illegal immigrants. Do you? What I need to do is let Californians know what I stand for. Oh, we know. There's a better choice. Conservative businessman Steve Poisner. That's real change. Congressman Tom McClintock warned Republicans about Arnold Schwarzenegger. He was right. Now he's warning us that Meg Whitman is another Arnold. California can't afford Arnold Schwarzenegger's third term, and that's Meg Whitman. More spending, more environmental extremism, more bailouts at our expense. I've watched Steve Poisner fight big government, and I trust him. This isn't a close call. There's only one conservative in this race, and his name is Steve Poisner. When Meg Whitman joined eBay, the company sold everything from guns to genuine paintings by famous artists for five bucks to hardcore pornography. Whitman cleaned up the site. No more guns, no more fake paintings, but pornography? Whitman started a separate division that only sells porn. Under Whitman's leadership, the porn site became one of the largest on the internet. That's Meg Whitman. From Goldman Sachs deals to porn, it's all about the money. Meg Whitman, bad judgment, wrong values. There is no excuse for my voting record. It appears Meg Whitman did not vote for 28 years. She finally registered to vote in 2002 and has voted sporadically since then. How do you explain that as somebody who wants to be governor? It was a mistake. I should have voted and I didn't. Nothing more? Uh... Yesterday, reporters pressed the candidate to be forthcoming. And what I have said is it was not the right thing to do. But why? It just wasn't the right thing to that do. That doesn't answer I the question. Have. I should have, and I didn't. I have said many times that I should have, and I didn't, and there is no excuse for it. So why did you play the election control? Mike, I didn't vote. Why not? I should have. I should have, and I didn't. After more than three minutes of asking why, Whitman never answered. When I moved to California, I, re I registered as declined to state because I was in charge of a very large community, eBay. I started in 2002 after I'd been at eBay a number of years. I was focused on raising a family, on my husband's career. We moved many, many times. So for the record, you didn't register to vote until 2002? Um, well, yes. I voted for George Bush, I voted for Ronald Reagan, I voted through most of the 80s for John McCain, for Mitt Romney. I started in, in 2002 after I'd been at eBay a number of years and I voted through most of the 80s. Well, federal fraud charges against Goldman Sachs are now ensnaring state gubernatorial candidate Meg Whitman. Questions about whether Goldman gave her preferential access the stocks that were sold quickly for huge profits. Goldman Sachs paid Whitman $475,000 for her board service. She left in 2002 after questions were raised about whether Goldman gave her preferential uh, preferential access to stocks. So my view was actually this is nothing, there's not gain in the system here. Meg Whitman now says she regrets taking part in a past stock sale practice that's now outlawed. She steered millions of dollars of eBay's investment banking business to Goldman when she was CEO. Um, but I think, you know, now that practice is outlawed and, and people say, you know, gee, that, you know, that probably wasn't um, the way we wanted it to be. Meg Whitman is playing down her connections to Goldman Sachs. Whitman defended the business opportunities as legal at that time, but yesterday she told the Associated Press that if she could go back, she wouldn't do that deal again. Goldman received $10 billion in taxpayer-funded bailout money. Whitman was reported to have been paid nearly a half million dollars by Goldman for joining its board of directors. Whitman has been quoted in the past as saying she was the victim. A judge in the case reportedly wrote that Whitman reaped millions of dollars in profits. He and two other top eBay officials settled a shareholder lawsuit over the practice. That's why her, her team is spinning this so much. I'd be nervous, and, and Meg Whitman, people are clearly nervous. Goldman Sachs still manages part of her personal holdings. Company officials have donated more than $100,000 to her campaign for governor.
has the courage and values to stand up to illegal immigration? Not liberal Meg Whitman. She supports Obama's amnesty plan. And like Obama, Whitman opposes Arizona's immigration law. I would actually oppose the law. Only Steve Poisner will take strong action. Poisner supports Arizona's right to defend its borders. He opposes amnesty and will cut off benefits to illegals, saving millions. If you care about stopping illegal immigration, Steve Poisner is the only choice. Two business leaders run for governor. One key difference, illegal immigration. Steve Poisner supports Arizona's immigration law. Meg Whitman opposes. I would actually oppose the law. Hi, this is Congressman Tom McClintock. This time our choice for governor matters, and it comes down to this. Steve Poisner supported Arizona's law to stop illegal immigration. Meg Whitman cut and ran. This time, let's have a governor from the Republican wing of the Republican Party, Steve Poisner. 28 years. For 28 years, Meg Whitman didn't vote. Not once. She didn't vote for Ronald Reagan, George Bush, or Pete Wilson for 28 years. Meg Whitman says she's for Prop 13, but over 100 times she could have voted against higher taxes or more spending, and she didn't vote, not once, for 28 years. She didn't skip some votes, as she claims. She skipped every one for 28 years. Do you want a governor who has the same position on illegal immigration as the president of Mexico? I strongly disagree with the recently adopted law in Arizona. Meg Whitman does. But as I have said, if that law were to come before me, I would oppose it. I support what's going on in Arizona. Amnesty is a huge magnet, and it's a mistake. As governor, I'm going to take steps to address the problems of illegal immigration once and for all. Meg Whitman didn't vote for 28 years, not once, not even for Ronald Reagan. But Meg called Barbara Boxer a courageous leader and campaigned for her. You know what? I did support Barbara Boxer. Liberals Whitman and Boxer support amnesty for illegals, oppose Arizona's immigration law. Steve Poisner opposes amnesty, supports Arizona's new law. He'll cut taxes and spending. Say no to Boxer, Whitman, and amnesty. Say yes to conservative businessman Steve Poisner. For most Californians, the financial crisis was a disaster. For Meg Whitman, it was easy money. With Goldman Sachs, Whitman invested heavily in vulture funds, profiting from California foreclosures. Whitman's entire fortune is intertwined with Goldman Sachs. She helped manage Goldman and received sweetheart stock deals so unethical they were outlawed. Whitman campaigned for the Goldman bailout. No surprise, Goldman executives donated over $100,000 to Whitman. Meg Whitman, bad judgment, wrong values. Did you know Meg Whitman and Barack Obama have the same policy on illegal immigration? Really? Nationwide, there may be as many as 12 and a half million people who have come to this country illegally. Her solution? Can we get a, a fair program where people stand at the back of the line, they pay a fine? Barack Obama on illegal immigration. We should require them to pay a penalty and pay taxes, learn English, go to the back of the line. The Whitman-Obama policy? It's called amnesty. I'm Steve Poisner. We all know California is heading right over a cliff. How did this happen? Years of liberal failure doing too much for too many. Take illegal immigration. Politicians have lacked the guts to tackle the problem. As governor, I will stop taxpayer-funded benefits for illegal immigrants. If necessary, I'll bring it to you as a ballot initiative. Ten other states have done it. California must. I will. I'm Steve Poisner. Let's save California. Is Meg Whitman your kind of Republican? She supports Obama's amnesty for illegal aliens. Like Schwarzenegger, will continue taxpayer-funded benefits to illegals. A skyrocketing cost under Obamacare. For 28 years, Whitman refused to vote for a Republican. But she contributed to and campaigned for Barbara Boxer. Like Boxer, Whitman supports taxpayer-funded abortion. Whitman even supported the disastrous bank bailout. After Arnold, don't we deserve a Republican? California's in trouble. I'm Steve Poisner. We spend too much, 
and we tax too much. Sacramento's solution? Spend more and raise taxes. It's a vicious cycle driving California into the ground. My solution? A bold, across-the-board, 10% tax cut to jumpstart the economy and create new jobs. All part of my sweeping economic reform plan to save California. It's a solid, powerful plan to get us back on track. If you're ready for change, join me. California's in crisis. What's liberal Meg Whitman's weak response? False negative attacks on Republican Steve Poisoner's conservative solutions. Who can rescue California from liberal failure? Steve Poisoner, the only candidate for governor who supports broad-based tax cuts. Save billions by cutting taxpayer-funded benefits to illegal aliens. Require law enforcement to report illegal aliens who are arrested. Strong, conservative, new solutions. That's Steve Poisoner. ¿No le da coraje que los políticos digan una cosa a un grupo de personas y algo distinto a otros? Eso es lo que Meg Whitman está haciendo. Este es el anuncio de radio que ella no quiere que escuchemos. This is former Governor Pete Wilson. El exgobernador Pete Wilson habla acerca del plan de Meg Whitman para detener la inmigración ilegal. Dice que será muy dura con los inmigrantes ilegales y que luchará por asegurar nuestra frontera y acabar la ciudad de santuario. Meg Whitman cree que puede engañarnos. Merecemos más respeto. Steve Poisner habla claramente. Tal vez no siempre estamos de acuerdo con él, pero él no juega con nosotros. Él cree fuertemente en la inmigración legal y se opone a la inmigración ilegal. Él apoya la ley de Arizona. Para Steve Poisner, el servicio público no es hacer lo más popular, es hacer lo que él cree que es correcto. ¿No cree que ya es hora de que tengamos un líder en quien podamos confiar? Pagado por Steve Poisner para Gobernador 2010. Congressman Tom McClintock warned us about Arnold Schwarzenegger. He was right. Now he's warning us again about Meg Whitman. Hi, this is Tom McClintock. Meg Whitman is spending her eBay millions trying to buy the Republican nomination for governor by smearing Steve Poisner. Well, I've had enough. California can't afford Arnold Schwarzenegger's third term, and that's all that Meg Whitman offers. More borrowing, more environmental extremism, and more spending at our expense. When we conservatives were fighting Barbara Boxer and Van Jones and the bailout of Goldman Sachs, Meg Whitman was on the other side. This isn't a close call. There's only one conservative in this race. It's Steve Poisner. I've watched Steve fight for our conservative principles of individual freedom and limited government, and I trust him. Our party and its principles shouldn't be sold off on eBay. We don't need to rebrand our principles. We need to return to them. We need Steve Poisner. Paid for by Steve Poisner for Governor 2010.